Three months later, a Richmond mother is still waiting for answers in the fatal shooting of her son. Good evening, I'm Bill Fitzgerald. Thanks for joining us. I'm Candace Burns. She tells our crime insider John Burkett that the increase in violence in the city is delaying the investigation. John joins us live with her message to her son's killer. John. Yeah, Candace, two more murders, frustration building. Monica Murphy has been patiently awaiting answers about her son's murder in late June, but knows detectives are now bogged down even more with newer cases. My son was Kendall Forby that was murdered on June 27th of this year. Um, on 20th Street and Broad. More than a statistic, a young father shot to death in Shaco Bottom, an unsolved murder at this point. A mom growing more and more frustrated with the continuing violence in RVA. I got my faith in these detectives, I really do, and I believe that they're working hard as they can. I, I pray for their strength to, to keep going because y'all are senseless with these crimes. Y'all are senseless with these shootings. Like y'all ain't doing that but destroying families. Two more destroyed early Tuesday morning. A man shot to death outside the 7-Eleven at Hardwood and Richmond Highway. And a homeless man found stabbed multiple times. His body found near Lodge and Broad Streets. Somebody needs to start speaking up. If you know something, say something. Victims' families shouldering unbearable grief. With every new shooting or murder case comes an understanding that their case will then take more time to be solved. For Murphy, that means painful conversations between a mom who misses her son and his daughter who misses her dad. A father, he left behind a six-year-old daughter that misses him. Terrible. You know, it hurts to hear her say, Nanny, I miss my daddy. It hurts. It hurts. Turn yourself in. Do the right thing. And that turn yourself in advice for every killer at large tonight, she says. 60 people have been murdered in the city so far this year compared to 46 at this time last year and 55 murders total in 2019.